I think the gap, whether it be in the United States, whether it be in Italy, frankly, I'm sure in the Middle East, is the fact that there are few prosecutions to put people in jail for this. And I think it, the, the time when political leaders decide they want to charge their prosecutors and their kind of professional staff to say, listen, take the risk, go for the prosecution, even if you may not get a conviction, we still think it's worth doing. If you look at past issues of conflict, it turns out people take, it of a con take advantage of conflict and they steal stuff. They may not put into the major marketplaces immediately because it's too, you know, too obvious that there's a war going on in one spot and suddenly priceless objects are appearing in the marketplace somewhere else. So they're likely to go into free ports in Switzerland or elsewhere, or maybe in Lebanon or Turkey. They'll sit there for a decade or two and slowly come into the marketplace. And we'll probably go into the marketplace through what's called antiquities laundering, where it's not gonna be immediately sent to Christie's, it'll be sent to you know, an auction house um, somewhere else in the world or a gallery where they'll be you know, up for display for a couple of weeks, couple of months. And so the people d describe some sort of providence. They're like, oh, well, it's been at this gallery and that gallery. Perhaps it'll be something that's more legitimate. And so the question is, what can we do now, understanding that things will likely come to the marketplace, maybe next year, maybe 10 years from now, maybe 20 years from now, what can we do now to ensure that there's no home in the marketplace for these objects that are being looted out of the ground from Syria and elsewhere in the region? You have to involve the private sector to have a lasting solution. They have to be brought into this, and they have to recognize that it's in their interest to ensure that objects that are being dug out of the ground from Syria or elsewhere in the region are not funding terrorism and are not in a position where they might be contributing to the worldwide slaughter somewhere else, because that's where we have to make, draw the line. You're not just stealing the, the, the souls of the region, but we're also contributing to the slaughter of the region as well, and we have to ensure we don't do that.